full disclaimer yes i'm going back to fall out deal yes i'm flying western air again but i'm flying as a non-rev as this ticket that i use i actually won the competition it's going to be similar but also different because when i went that was an inaugural flight so there was a lot of pomp and pageantry it was not so with them flying to fall out deal for like almost two years now i want to see if something else is different and also this is going to be slightly different too because i'm going on a later flight which is a 4 p.m flight hopefully they don't cancel it but also when i come back i come back on a 6 p.m flight so maybe there's something different maybe there's something new maybe it's all the same and this is a pointless video i don't know i doing this for my entertainment and for your enjoyment so before that happens i need to get through working today I got nine and a half hours until my flight.
little bit at first. Never experienced that before, but I'm not complaining. And we're back, coming to you from Fort Lauderdale International Airport, plane observation area. I didn't finish the first part of the video because I was tired and I was already frustrated, so I didn't do a proper send off. My flight's at six o'clock, it's half past two o'clock. I don't have my camera to do any plane spotting, but I've been here since one, I'm enjoying my time and I'm just stalling until it's ready for me to check in, which is in the next 30 minutes. There's something I need to explain to you as to what happened, but I'm not gonna say that right now. But, ooh, look at that, American in spirit. Oh. Okay, so I got my boarding pass. At least it was easy to find the gate this time. Well, not the gate, the counter. The signs were up. So let's head through security, which is empty for once. Okay, so that was easier than expected. I had to take myself off my bike, and I was in and out of security in about seven minutes for Fort Lauderdale. That's a good time. I like it. The airports can learn from them. I see your gate A6. And now I can head back to go look for some meat. Now, what I was saying earlier, I'm flying as a non-rev, so I'm supposed to be flying on standby, but I guess since it's not a full flight, they gave me a guaranteed seat for both my incoming flight and now my outgoing flight. Not that I'm complaining, but you know, different airline practices, and at least it's guaranteed that I'm gonna get home. <laughs> Also, I don't know if I just gained more, a little bit more weight, but the seats here are tight. It was tight on our last flight too, but I'm just noticing it now.
starting to fly through a little bit of turbulence, but the more I think about it, the more I realize the RJ145 and the whole entire family is literally a flying bus. It's fairly fast in seat backs. Window shades and tray tables are in the upright and log position. The arm rests down and all carry an item safety stow. This a laboratory at this time, it's not permitted, thank you. Kind of surreal and I'm actually walking this area considering I work here and I usually do this whenever I'm meeting a certain aircraft. But yeah, welcome to Nassau. And that's it. I've completed that trip until the next one. I can tell you now, it's in May and it's for my birthday. See you soon. <laughs>